Welcome back guys. Uh, I'm just doing a short video because I saw on DistroWatch that um, Voyager had come out with a new distribution or a new version of their normal distribution. But what they've done is they have switched XFCE for GNOME. So now this is the first release with the GNOME desktop. And in their release announcement, they go into the reasons why they're switching. But um, evidently, they used to have GNOME many years ago, and then they switched to XFCE. Now they're switching back to GNOME. So I was uh, curious, and I wanted to see what it looked like. I, it, it looks like it has a lot of potential. There's only one problem, and that is once I install, and I've done the install twice, it does not configure the keyboard correctly for a US installation. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, if I want to type numbers along the top of my keyboard, okay, this is what I get. That should be one, two, three, four. The only way I can get numbers is to turn on number lock and use the keypad that's the only way I can get numbers. If I want, if I need to use the ampersand or the and sign, there is no possible way. It's located above the two on my keyboard. If I press it without the shift key, I get uh, a little E. Now, it looks like it's configured for a European desktop. But I've done the install twice. I first time I just did a US. Um, you know, because it came up, it knows where I am, and it and it picks the correct desktop. It just doesn't install it correctly. So I was able to get it installed, get it functioning, install Simple Screen Recorder and uh, GUVC View to do this video. But um, if the Voyager guys are, are are seeing this, you need to take a look at your keyboard configuration. It, it does not configure the US keyboard correctly. Other than that, I do like what I see. I mean, it's a nice GNOME desktop. Um, I'd be, you know, I would, I would tweak a few things, but I always do anyway. So um, that is it for this very, very brief video, guys. Um, it has a lot of potential, as I said. And the, the Voyager uh, developers just need to do a little tweaking on the uh, keyboard configuration right out of the box. So thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.